Before the lockout, Radic Bank rejected 4.7 million U.S. over three years. But now with a new marketplace on the horizon, he's happy with 6.1 million U.S. over five. If I wouldn't be happy, I wouldn't be here. Bonk scored 42 goals as an IHL rookie, but struggled in this, his second season with Vegas, mainly because his mind was on playing for Ottawa. This year I didn't have a season same good like last year, but I think I learned from there and I've le learned about hockey, about life, and I'm ready to play NHL now, and that's why I'm here. Though his equipment was still en route from Vegas, Bonk was in on the annual public scrimmage in brand new equipment, even skates. Radek's going to he's going to be the same as Alexei Yashin and Alexander Dake. He's coming here to play. He's not coming here to be a role player. He's coming here to play. And he's going to be a lot of tough nights for him because he's a rookie, going to be playing tough situations, but he's going to have to learn to handle them. For bonus, it was his first glimpse of the future. And Bonk is precisely what others said he is. Well, I just saw some comments from the Chicago Blackhawks and the Edmonton Oilers when he played exhibition games against them, and they were all very impressed with the, um, his size, his physical uh, play on the ice, his hands, his great shot, and uh, he played tough against them. He laid out some heavy hits, and he, and he comes to play. Thanks to Randy Sexton, who flew down to Vegas and closed out the deal at 6 a.m. Eastern Thursday morning. And though it's lucrative, it's at market value. When you do the arithmetic, it's it's four million U.S. dollars for five years, eight hundred thousand dollars a year on average. Uh, they have the ability to switch to Canadian currency if they choose, and we've built in some protection for both Radic and his family and, and the senators with respect to swinging variations of the Canadian dollar. So now that Bonk's in camp and on the ice, Randy Sexton could turn his full attention to Alexei Yashin, his number one center. Yashin arrived back in Ottawa late Wednesday night, and while he isn't talking to the media, those closest to him say he's anxious to resolve his contract dispute. So don't be surprised if he too is in the lineup when the Senators open in Uniondale on Sunday. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.